Everybody's tweeting at Dana, asking Dana, Dana, what the fuck's going on with the, with the Mystic Mac? Oh my god, I'm just playing with him now, yeah. And then we were able to have him fucking drink for the fourth story to stay. The UFC 303 main event, Conor McGregor versus Michael Chandler, is officially cancelled. It's done. It's off. It's gonzo. It's not happening. And I'm sorry to report, uh, Conor McGregor has picked up an injury, and it all kind of makes sense now. I went to Dublin last week and spoke to some of the people around the Black Forge Inn who said that Conor McGregor was partying. He was on weekend benders. Now, I think at this point, he was already injured, and that's why he was, he was, party, he was out partying. Now, what we've got to bear in mind, this is uh, all you UFC fanboys out there that, you know, I I love the UFC, I love the sport, I love the people in it, I love Dana White, but you've got to realise that these guys will fucking lie to you, and you've just, you've just got to accept that the UFC is a, a business, and a, a very sly business at that at times. So, they knew that the UFC press conference was off way before... Uh, they, they actually told the public and let the fans know and, you know, all, all the people that travelled out there and lost money on, you know, flights, hotels and stuff like that. And then the 303 actual, uh, you know, the actual event, um, people have paid over two grand for tickets in the nosebleeds. Anyway, we do have a replacement main event and it is Alex Pereira versus Yuri Proashka 2. That it's, it's happening. Great fight, great main event. They've also added Brian Ortega versus Diego Lopez as the co-main. And Jamal Hill is out of his fight with Allberg, replaced by Anthony, on paper, the GOAT Smith. So it's happening. It, the UFC 303 is still happening. It's still going to add. But you've got to think the implications that this has as, as a fan going forward. The UFC have lied to the fans. They've... Um, what they've tried to do is replace the main event and, you know, stack the card a little bit more to cushion the blow when they announce it instead of just announcing that McGregor is off, uh, you know, instead of just announcing McGregor is out of the fight, they've kept it going for over two weeks now. And McGregor's injured. He's not He's not fighting. Uh, feel sorry for Michael Chandler. He's, he's got to wait again. I don't know if there's no... There's no talk about rescheduling at the moment, but I, I'm guessing that's what they're going to look at they go and look at how long McGregor's out for and whether it's possible that they can reschedule the fight at a later date. Now, Michael Chandler's ruining his career. He sat out for so long waiting for this fight. He could have had two or three fights by now. I, I guess he's going to wait. I just guess that he's going to wait and hold off for this, this fight. If you haven't checked out my video when I went to Dublin, please go check it out. I was the first to report on it. Ariel Alwan, who was a bit late to the party on this one. I know he's got more sources than me, but I think I, I went down to the ground level and I found out information that sort of backs up what's happened. He was out, the guy was out partying and I know he's a bit of a wild animal at times, but the state of the, 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 the frequency of the videos being released of him partying and then confirmed by the locals that he was on weekend benders, he, his Bentley was being left overnight. I think these add up now, and, and I know he's a madman, but he's not that mad going into a fight camp and then being out on the piss every weekend. So I do believe that was, you know, the first signs. I confirmed then, I said back then, that he's not making it to fight night, he's not making it to UFC 303. The doubters came, the doubters doubted me, they left the comments giving me shit, well, fuck you, because who was right? <laughs> I was right. I told you so. I told you so. I hate to say I told you so, but I'm right. I wanted the fight go ahead purely for Michael Chandler at this point. I, I feel like he deserves a bag. He deserves his payday. He's put a lot into the sport, and he's waited for so long to get this fight, and now it's not happening. So condolences for Michael Chandler, but we move on. We've got a great main event. Alex Pereira versus Yuri Proashka 2. <sighs> That's a good one, boys. It's a good one, but I will be backing Alex Pereira on that one. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.